guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be messing with the truck again and over the past couple days we got a lot of stuff done that I didn't get on camera so let's go over it really quick and let's show you what I've done. Alright you guys so like I mentioned in the last video I had this side to do but that door and this fender are all done now and on top of that I came over here and I started putting together the front end. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and leave the truck the whole truck and primer and then just paint the roof for now because we are running short on time. So I went ahead and uh, put all this together and I'll show you what I did. I got a newish bumper better than the last one that I had and I polished that all out and I went and threw these chrome half moons on the headlights. I cleaned up the headlight bezels and then on the inside I painted them black and I think that came out really nice. Um, you can't really tell through the grill but I painted the whole core support black behind all the uh, bumper supports and all that and this grill I recently just painted as well and I have the emblem coming in that should be here this week but all this is coming together for the most part and for today what we're gonna do because the truck is sitting so low the tire is now hitting the inner wheel well so I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming that out so we can build a tub and then on top of that we have this bedside to finish still so we're going to try to knock that out and this and then uh, also mess with some suspension work that's kind of iffy that we need to play with. But yeah, that's our uh, project for today. Let's get started. So this is what I'm thinking so far is having this section cut out of the wheel well That's just for starters. It is a little bit smaller than the tire But I'd rather start small and cut small than have to put more material back So after that's cut out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a nice tub that comes up a little bit higher That kind of seats the wheel a little bit better Because you can see inside there That's where I was rubbing before so this is definitely going to help it out and with this being in here I can actually go a little bit lower but we're going to cut this all out and see how that looks first and then we'll go on to this side and do that side after we know exactly how much we're taking out uh, over here. So that's that. She is all cut out. So let's get this out of here. Pass my hand off. This is what we're left with. Obviously, I got to clean up all these edges, but I think that should be where we're supposed to be. And I think once that tub comes over, it's going to look really good. Uh, we got plenty of clearance all the way around. And like I said before, this is my high school truck. I lowered it and didn't align it so just ignore all that pretend that the tires not worn on one side because we're going to fix that but that's our home and I think it looks pretty good like I said we just need to clean up all those rough edges but now we can use that side as a template and put it over there so we know exactly where we need to cut and then we'll do the same to that um, then yeah we're going to clean up all that and my buddy is actually wanting to make the tubs for it so you probably won't see the finished product on this episode but we will see them coming up soon but just know um, it's coming and I'm not just gonna leave it like this but there's a bit side getting done and since we are running short on time my dad's actually giving me a hand with that so while he's on that I'm finishing up some more stuff but hopefully by the end of the day we'll have that primed and then uh, yeah time to start picking out colors after that all right, you guys, so I went under here, took the wheel off so I can get into there a little bit better and grind it. 
Okay, was shaking on this and this was super loose so we went ahead and did a wheel bearing uh, real quick off camera. But that's all situated now, but I figured since the tire's off, but we're already under here, I'm gonna go ahead and tape up all this and undercoat this inner wheel well and just make it have a little bit of a cleaner look. And then uh, when we go on top to do the uh, tub, we'll uh, underline that then too. But I figure we're already over here. So we'll go ahead and clean all this up, scuff it up, and then uh, underline that. So let's do it. So all that's been done. I got the uh, wheel bearing all set. And I went in there and undercoated everything nice black. I think it looks really good behind everything. And obviously we're going to have new sets of wheels on, but that's all good to go. And then I took the time also. And I went ahead and got some new shims and put those in the upper control arm. So I can get it aligned better than what it was. Which I'll do for now. I'm going to do the other side while I'm going to take some measurements and see how close it really is. But one side is done, and now we'll move on to the next. Alright you guys, so we got everything masked up, and we're going to get ready to primer again. But, you guys have already seen that a few times, so I'm going to go ahead and skip over that. And it'll get primer right now. Well, see? That was easy. It's all done now. So let's unmask it, and then we'll see what other projects we can play with while we're still here. Alright guys, so we moved on back here, and we had to cut out a square in here because the axle was hitting the bend, but later on we're going to make a nice little tub for that. But for right now, since that other bedside's been primed, we're going to come over here onto this cover, and we're going to trim it out to make sure it fits really good with all these grooves and all these different body lines all the way around. So we're going to play with that, and then I'll show you guys the finished product once it's all uh, grinded down and fitted. Alright you guys, after a lot of trial and error, obviously you can see all the little scrap pieces we got. But these are our final cuts, which look super zigzaggy on here, but we'll take it over here. It fits just right. So, going to go ahead and start screwing that in. Uh, to try to get it positioned right and then uh, I'm still up in the air if I just want to do some nice rivets on it or actually weld it in I don't know we'll see when we get there but for now at least we got all our cuts out and it's nice and clean and we know it's the shape that we need it to be all right you guys there it is and after thinking about it I think I actually am going to take those screws out and in the same holes that uh, is there I'm going to go ahead and just rivet it just in case I have to service anything behind there, it'll be easier to just drill out some rivets and take off some whole welds. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some rivets through there. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to start building the lid for the top. Alright guys, so I got this all mocked up. I use cardboard to cut it out to get the shape of what I need. And I think... Now that's going to work right there. I think that's going to work really good. So... We're going to use that as our template, but I'm pretty burnt out for tonight. It's already getting pretty late outside. The sun's going down. So I'm going to go ahead and start packing everything up. So you guys will have to see this get cut out and put in on the next episode. All right, you guys. As always, thank you guys for watching. That's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And there's plenty more to come on this and everything else that I've recently done for videos. So stay tuned for everything. And again, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the likes and subscribers that you guys given me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next adventure.